Hello, this is Matthew with buildyourownblog.net, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your new blog in just 15 minutes or less. It might actually only take you 10 minutes. It really just depends on your computer experience. Okay, so you're on my step two page, and the first thing you want to do is click this link right here that says click this link to open Green Geeks in a new tab. So now you're on the Green Geeks website. And Green Geeks is the hosting service that I recommend. Green Geeks has periodic sales throughout the year, but then their prices will go back up for months at a time. If you see that the price is now $3.96 per month, then now is a great time to order. You can always get your money back anyway. If the price is higher than $3.96 per month, then you're better off waiting until the price goes back down again. So, if you're ready to get started, what you need to do next is click the green button here that says Get Started. Okay, now you're on the Green Geeks web hosting order form, and what you're going to do here is either go to the right or to the left. Now, if you already have a domain name registered somewhere else, like at GoDaddy or someplace like that, and you want to move that domain name to Green Geeks, what you want to do is type in that domain name here on the right and then click continue. Now the majority of you will be registering a new domain name for the first time. And what you're going to do then is click the domain name that you want here on the left and then click check availability. Now I'm going to put in the domain name I want and then you're also going to choose a suffix for your domain as well. I recommend either a .com or .net. You're welcome to choose any of them, but those are the two that are the easiest, uh, the most memorable, and the best for marketing purposes. So uh, but that's up to you, and I'm gonna see now if the domain that I want is available. Okay, great, it says congratulations. The domain that I requested is available. And so I can grab that and then move on to the next thing, which is the account information. So what you're going to do then is fill in all of your account information here. All the fields are required unless otherwise noted. And you're going to scroll down and you come down here to the package information. Okay, so you're going to see a choice of account plans here. You have a three-year plan, two-year plan, one-year plan, and a monthly plan. Now, I recommend the three-year plan, and I'll tell you why. First of all, this is the best monthly rate that you're going to find out of all of these deals. And the good news is that Green Geeks offers a 30-day money-back guarantee. So there's really no risk. You can check it out and uh, see how it works for you over a 30-day period. And if it takes you 30 days, you can then call them back and they will give you a refund. So I recommend the three-year plan, and uh, but by all means, if this you know if your budget doesn't uh, allow that, then go ahead and get the two-year or yearly plan. You could even get the monthly plan, but as you can see, it is a much higher monthly rate, and you also do not get the free domain uh, with that as well. So you would be charged thirteen ninety-five per year for a domain registration fee with with that EcoStarter uh, monthly plan. So I would go ahead and get the three-year plan, but it's totally up to you. And one more thing about your package information, listen up. You are only going to be billed one time for whichever plan you choose. The three-year, two-year, yearly. You're only going to get one charge for the entire plan. So I just wanted to make sure that you knew that up front about the one-time charge for your service. And after you put that in, then you'll come down here and you'll put in your payment information. So you'll just put in your credit card information. And when you're done there, you will simply click this green button right here that says create account and get started. All right, now you should see a page like this that says, thank you, your order is complete. So what you're going to do next is you're going to wait for a phone call from Green Geeks. They will be calling you in the next few minutes. And it's a very simple call and uh, someone will ask to uh, verify your domain name that you just ordered. 
and that's it. So once that happens, you get that phone call, then they'll send you um, about four or five different emails. And that's where we need to go next to uh, complete this process and get your blog set up. So let's take a look in my inbox and I'll show you what the email looks like for your next step. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is pull up this email from Green Geeks that you're going to get. And you want to look for the subject line that says Green Geeks Account Manager Login Details. So open that email and you'll see right here your login information. It has uh, your email address and, your, and a password for you to use. And it tells you a little bit about the Green Geeks account manager where you're going to be going here in a sec. And then it says to log into the Green Geeks account manager, you just visit this URL and provide the details above. So you just want to click on this link and have uh, your password and email address ready. So you click on this link. And now you're ready to log into your account manager with Green Geeks. Now you're inside the Green Geeks dashboard. You should be able to see something that looks like this. And the domains that you have purchased with Green Geeks will be down here below. Under product service, the screen bar here. I have two domains at the moment. And what you want to do then is click the cPanel login, the blue button, to the domain that you want to set up with WordPress. So you want to click this blue button right here. Okay, so now you're in the Green Geek C panel, and once you're in here, to get WordPress set up on your blog, you need to go right here where it says the Green Geeks Apps Installer. And you'll see WordPress first right here, the WordPress icon, and you want to go ahead and click WordPress. Okay, so now you're in Softaculous, and all you need to do is zero in on the big blue button right here. It says Install and you're going to click install to put WordPress onto your blog. Click. And you don't need to change anything here. You just scroll down all the way and then click install this button right here. And you can see that it's processing now. It says it may take three or four minutes, but it usually takes just several seconds like this. And I'm already done. Congratulations, the software was installed successfully. I now have a new WordPress blog. Okay, so now at this point, when you're ready to get into your WordPress blog and start working with it, uh, I'm sure you're going to want to do that soon. And there's a real, here's a real quick and easy way to go about it. Right here, it says your uh, administrative URL. So you want to click on that and it'll take you to this. And this is your login page for your blog. And there's a uh, default that you can use, um, which you can then go inside. I'm going to show you and just change your password. So you want to just put in admin and then pass. So admin pass. And you are now inside your WordPress dashboard. You are actually inside your new blog at this stage. And then once you're in here, you can go to users. And then you want to go to your profile. And then just scroll down to the bottom where it says account management, new password. You just click generate password uh, to uh, change that to something much more secure. You can also change your username too. And that's it. Congratulations, you now have a WordPress blog. If you did have any technical issues during this process, I recommend that you contact Green Geeks Technical Support. Their customer service is super fast and really helpful. Before we wrap this up, I want to remind you that you have a full 30 days to think about your new blog, how you like it, and consider whether you want to keep it or not. 
in this first month. You can cancel and get a full refund. So if you're feeling a little scared about this new endeavor, that's pretty normal. I felt the same way when I started. Feeling a few butterflies in your stomach is usually what happens at the beginning of every great adventure. When we start something new, fear can cause us to panic and make us want to turn back and give up. Please understand that nobody is expecting you to know everything about blogging right from the beginning. Just learn along the way at your own pace and you'll be fine. I offer guidance with my seven additional steps after this one to help your development as a blogger. Lots of great information is waiting for you right here. Plus, I'm always available if you have any questions. One thing I like to ask a new blogger who is feeling overwhelmed is this question. How do you eat an elephant? The answer is one bite at a time. So relax and give your new blog a full test drive. See what you think, and if after a month you don't think it's for you, then you can get a refund. Just enjoy the journey, and I'll see you on the other side of your new blog. Okay, so now you're ready to move on to step three. You just need to scroll down and click this big orange button that says click here to go to step three. Over here on step three, I'll be giving you a complete tour of the WordPress settings inside your blog. Down here with my handy video. So you're on to step three. I'll see you over there.